欢迎来到 Time to Learn with Dr. Rosa。今天我们有 Miss Elizabeth。Hi. 那 Miss Elizabeth 呢，在英国已经当了英文老师十六年了，所以今天呢，她就会教我们怎么能够帮助孩子做好 spelling 呢？因为我们知道，很多时候孩子看到长的字呢，就不懂得怎么串。今天 Miss Elizabeth 就会教我们一些小技巧，帮助孩子做好 spelling. Hello. So last time we talked about the reception in Year One and Two words, and we can use our phonics for those. But as the words get much harder in Year Three and Four,、um, we've got some different strategies for you. So we're going to look at the tricky word believe first of all, which is on our high frequency word list. Now the difficult part of this word is after the L. Okay, with the children commonly mistaking the I E or the E I. So to help children learn, we let them spot words within words. So, in this word, we would say to the children, "Never believe a lie," and they can see that the word "lie" is in the middle. We would get them to learn that phrase, "Never believe a lie." Hopefully, when they <laughs> come to spell it, they'll remember that phrase and write the word "lie" that actually exists in the middle of it. So it's a really good strategy. Another word for year three and four is using prefixes and recognizing groups of letters at the beginning of a word. So here we have the prefix dis, and then we will have appear. Okay, so we've got spotting words within words and making up phrases. We've got using our knowledge of the English prefixes, and then for the longer words, as the words are starting to get very long now, we can split these into syllables. So we have cow. N, d. Now the children will be able to use their phonic knowledge from Key Stage One to spell these short chunks, and then we're just putting them together. And sometimes we do that with some clapping. Okay, so we might say calendar, calendar, so they can hear the rhythm of a sound and be able to split the word up, use their phonics, and then chunk the words back together to learn the spelling. Lovely. 那今天呢 ，Miss Elizabeth 就教了我们三个技巧去记比较长的字。到底我们要怎么帮助孩子做好 spelling？ 先给我们一个赞，让我们知道你喜欢这一类的影片，让我们拍多一些这一类的影片给你看。下周我们就会说一下，就连我们大人都会觉得很难的字，到底我们要怎么做好 spelling 呢？就比如说 convenience 这一类这么长的字，我们怎么做好 spelling 呢？记得要订阅我的频道，把订阅旁边的小叮当按下，让你不会错过我每周五的新影片。我们下周五见，拜拜。